This video will give examples of careers in precious metals using statistical analysis, finance, accounting, and business. There are two basic types of markets or exchanges for precious metals. The first is the over-the-counter market, where lots of physical metal are bought and sold, which was discussed in our last video. The second is the futures market, where contracts for lots of precious metal for future delivery on a specific date are bought and sold. The futures markets help companies have the financial means to manage the risks of price fluctuations of precious metals that they own in a process called hedging. These companies participate in the futures market and are referred to as commercial hedgers. The other type of future market participants are the speculators. Speculators are buying and selling for the express purpose of profiting through the fluctuation in market prices. It is the classic buy low and sell high approach. Brokerage firms warn that this is a high risk activity and not suitable for all investors. Although the future markets were designed to help commercial hedgers, speculators provide most of the trading and therefore liquidity to the market. When a company purchases precious metals to incorporate into their products, it is called going long or having a position. It becomes part of their inventory and they have the risk or exposure of the price going down and losing money by the time they're done processing it for sale. They can manage this risk through a process called hedging. Hedging is done by buying one type of investment to offset another so when one goes up, the other goes down and vice versa. An example of this is when investors purchase precious metals with the thought that it is a hedge against inflation. They believe that the value of gold, for example, will increase with inflation of their country's currency. This is an example of buying precious metals as an asset for hedging. Futures, on the other hand, are a very different type of financial instrument. They are contracts to buy or sell a specific commodity on a specific date in the future. They can offset the purchase of a specific quantity of a precious metal by locking in on a future sale of the same amount to protect from future price changes. For example, a jewelry manufacturer may purchase 500 troy ounces of gold to manufacture jewelry, which they expect will be finished and sold within two months. They could then simultaneously purchase a future contract to buy 500 troy ounces at the same time they will sell their finished jewelry. Whatever the amount of gold price increased or decreased over that two month period, the gain from one will offset the loss from the other. They will buy and sell at the same price that day. This is the way they manage the risk of fluctuating precious metal prices. They can then price their final products at the time of sale using the prevailing market price of gold. Sales contracts are also drawn up between companies in which they agree on delivery of a specific amount of metal on a specific date and at a specific price. These private, non-standard agreements are one-to-one -one transactions which are not transferable. They are called forward contracts. Future contracts, on the other hand, are standardized contracts for the purchase or sale of a specific commodity at a specific time in the future. The date, quantity, purity, and other variables are all set in a contract, except for the price. The price is set in the same auction-like process as the over-the-counter exchanges, and constantly changes through electronic trading. Future contracts are regulated on the exchanges, like the COMEX, which trades in gold and silver futures, and the NYMEX in New York, which trades in platinum and palladium futures. The advances of electronic trading of futures and options have allowed both producers and consumers an effective manner to manage the risks of precious metal price fluctuations. Precious metal future contracts will be presented in more detail in our next video. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials, including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.